All right, let's um, look at our first petition, and then we'll just march through. And it's, I understand, this is frustrating. People want to stay on top of everything. They want me to summarize. I'm not a good summarizer, guys. You know this about me already. I just make my way through the material, and uh, we do the best we can. But um, I, I, I fully understand that most people cannot stay glued to everything that I do for all the, the salient points. So it's just going to be messy, and we're going to do our best. So uh, I'm sorry that I'm not uh, more succinct. All right, so this first petition, 20, was uh, submitted by the TLC. And the rationale is that it states the background and purpose of the Constitution. The Constitution, of course, is the most, it's the backbone of the whole book of doctrines and discipline. It's going to be the hardest to change in the future, so it's important that we get this right. Nate Fugate is one of the uh, primary people submitting petitions for the Constitution on top of the TLC, and so I'm interviewing him on Thursday of this week to review some of the most salient things that he sees. So I'm still going to be doing interviews and stuff, but this is just going to be uh, waiting our way through the material together. All right, paragraph. so this would be with paragraph 201. From its earliest days, the Christian church has been marked as one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. These four qualities, inseparably joined with one another, bear witness to the origin, nature, and mission of the church as the body of Christ called to reflect Christ's lordship. As those who have experienced the redeeming love of God, the church exists to reflect God's holy and perfect love to all, to boldly proclaim God's word, to edify all those who believe, and to work for the redemption of the world. Following in the Methodist tradition of organizing together under a common discipline, the Global Methodist Church has adopted the Constitution, the following Constitution, to enable us to, quote, watch over each other in love, end quote. I thought it was watch over one another in love. I, I could be wrong. So is that it? It is. That's the whole, okay, so this is to be adopted and published at the very beginning of the Constitution, and I find nothing at all to object to in here. I don't see anything slipped under. Uh, I, I, and maybe I didn't read it closely enough, and yeah, I am a bit distracted, but to start off with one, holy, catholic, and apostolic is, is solid. And then to end with watching over one another in love. This is how we're going to do it. This is the covenant that we share. I think this would be a great thing to adopt. Thumbs up from Jeffrey. Um, I think that is how I'll, I'll go through each petition, is just read through each, give some analysis, and then a, a final um, up or down vote or concerns. So, And then maybe, if I'm good, I'll just at least clip those up for the consideration of, of all those who care. So that one's going to be like 30 seconds long. Uh, good morning, Heather. Oh, Constitution Committee. Okay, so they reviewed this yesterday, says, uh, probably, says Catherine. Kathleen. Hey, George, well, you're welcome. I just, you know, I need to do it for me. I might as well do it with others. Constitution Committee officers are Ryan Barnett. He's the chair. Okay, Kathleen Engelman. Oh, that's you. Vice chair. And then Scott Pollitt, our secretary. So if, um, if y'all have any... Well, Kathleen, I'm glad you're on board with us. You might have uh, helpful comments. You almost certainly will have helpful comments as we go through. I think this is the very first section is that on Constitution. So thank you for joining us this morning. And then, yeah, if there are, uh, if you want feedback, not just from me, but from others, then you're welcome to put your email address or however you want people to comment you or uh, follow with you in the comments. And I'll, I'll highlight it for people on other platforms. And then you don't have to do that, you know, if you don't want a bunch of people reaching out to you. But then um, if there are things that you want us to be praying about or thinking about as we prepare for these petitions, then I'd very much welcome, welcome your input on that. Um, and then if um, I don't think we'll probably make it through the whole Constitution section today, what we won't. Um, so if you want to come on later and talk to me and walk me through it or have Ryan do that, um, I would very much welcome you guys. So you can follow up with me later at plainspokenpod at gmail.com if you want to, but it's, it's just fine if you don't. So I just want to invite you to be a part of it if you want to. All right, let's go on to the next petition. I found nothing at all. And it, just so you know, the watch over one another or each other in love is just the backbone of the, the Methodist revival. The whole theological conviction behind it is that we humans are messed up. We're not basically good. We are born in sin. 
And not only do we need the Holy Spirit to care for us, but we need the church. We need everybody watching each other in love to hold us accountable to the Christian life and to a higher Christian standard. And because we did that well in the beginning, Methodists actually were known for great quality control. We had great average faith among our fellowships. So, okay, petition 21. 